Hey guys, Lee Path here. Welcome to a speed tip from my garage. Now, my buddy Chewy may, may try to help coach me a little bit on this skill, so if you see him coming in, you'll know why. So, won't be long, and we're going to start seeing the NFL combine prep information out there, and the number one thing is usually the 40, okay? Who can blow out the best 40 time? I just want to talk about setup of the 40, okay, real quick. Um, what one of my pet peeves is, is when I see these coaches teaching the 40 start and they change it. I mean, they change the fundamentals of it drastically. Why we don't just pay attention to the world's best sprinters is beyond me. Now, yes, they have blocks, but that doesn't matter as much as you think it does, okay? So, for example, I've seen coaches that are pretty much 90% of their weight to 100% of their weight on the front leg, which means when they get up in their top position, their back leg, they'll have their athlete's back leg straight and they'll totally load the front leg. That screws up summation of effort, okay? It screws it up. You can't, I don't care if you got a guy that does that and runs a 4-3, it doesn't matter because he's one of the top 1% genetic gifted athletes anyway, okay? So that really didn't matter. What we want to do Basically, so if I had a line right here, I like to get off the line a little bit. I like to have them go the length of their foot, okay? And then what I like to have them do is just start to get comfortable. And then I like to have them squat down and see if that feels comfortable, okay? Now, if my line's right here, I just put my hands down. Now, right now, I'm too crowded. Let me turn this way. I'm too crowded because this knee is past that elbow. That's too far, okay? So what I want to do is I want to back it up a little bit. <laughs> it's Chewy, Chewy C is going to coach now. He's going to try to get in here and tell, tell me what to do. So what I want to make sure I do is I have my knee so that it can brush this elbow, but I don't want it to hit the elbow, okay? So now, when I have the athlete rise up, I want to rise up very comfortably, and I want to be over my, my hands, I don't want to have my hands really wide. If I'm going to use a four-point start, now if I'm going to go three-point start, obviously I'm going to have this hand under me more because I'll lose my balance, okay? But we just want to get very comfortable. And I let the athlete get up, and we look at it, and I have them feel it, and we try it, and then we videotape it, and then we break it down, and then we try again, and we mix it up a little bit. The keys are you want to have a down and back push angle. I want to have the shin angle coming up through my body. So if, my, if I'm too far like this, this is coming up too steep. So I want to make sure I have the angle coming through and even this leg. I want to have that shin angle coming up through my shoulders. So we really try to keep it simple so that the athlete feels comfortable. And their very first action is out. They project themselves out, okay? That's the key. You need to have weight on both legs. It doesn't have to be even. There should be more weight on the front leg. I don't want to have it completely even because then I sit back. I want to make sure there's some weight on that front leg so I can actually push off and go, all right? So the setup is critical, but you have to work with each athlete. If you have 10 athletes, you might have 10 different starts. All of them might be very similar, some of them might be quite a bit different, but you got to work with those individual athletes, okay? So hey, get ready, combine's not that far away, work on your 40 setup, and then we'll start talking about the, the 10 to improve that. We'll be back again with a speed tip from my garage.